Hey, it's Mandy with Kincaid Special Creations. I'm going to show you this button mitten. Now what you're going to need is a piece of board, some paint, a paintbrush. I just painted the board blue and then I took an outline of a mitten and I traced it on just with pencil. And then I pulled out my button stash. I have a lot of buttons. Some are old and some are big and some are small. They were all different colors. I just kind of laid them out here and uh, got a good look at all of them. Oh my, there's a lot of different buttons. I have some fabric buttons. I have some uh, just neutral collars, old, big, bulky buttons. I decided on the neutral collar for part of the mitten. And I, now I'm looking for a secondary collar. These buttons are interesting and really old looking. Here's another interesting brown button. I'll try to find my secondary collar in that jar of buttons. But for now, I think these neutral color buttons will be good for uh, part of my mitten. They, a lot, there are duplicates, um, but there are also differences in each one, so I'm excited. Okay, here we go. I dumped out the jar of buttons, and I've spread them out. I pulled out the big ones. I'm not interested in the really big ones. I'm looking around to see if I can find enough of a secondary color that I can use. Um, Looking at the blue at first, and I pull out as many blue as I can. I decide for whatever reason that I don't like the blue, although looking at it now looks great, uh, but I think there just maybe wasn't enough. So then I go through and pick out all the pink that I can find. I needed to find, I believe, a little bit more, so I may have chosen some of the darker pinks as well to try to fill in that whole cuff of the mitten. And then finally, we get enough to do what we need to. I am seeing some space between the buttons, which means we will likely have to use um, some fabric to use as a background so you don't see that space back there. Here I chose a fabric. I laid it down, put some buttons on it to see if it was going to match decently well. I just cut out a square and used my same mitten cutout to get the right shape I need. I just make a straight edge here and then I take a marker and I trace out that cuff of the mitten and that's all I'll need of this pink material. Okay, so now I need a neutral color material to go behind the neutral colored buttons. So I choose this uh, darker brown. However, when I cut the mitten out backwards, I'll be able to use the reverse side of this material, which is a little more muted for this brown. So that's exactly what I need. So here I'm going to cut this out and see how that looks. Okay, I'm satisfied with that look. Now it's time to hot glue the material on. And then I will hot glue all the buttons in place.
Okay guys, I'm pretty much done here. I'm just going to look and fill in any big bald spots that I have. I'm glad I put that fabric behind it so you can't really see where the buttons didn't match up exactly. You're going to have a lot of glue spider webs coming off a project like this where you've used a lot of hot glue. So just try to pick off as much of that as you can. Here I tried to use some tape and get some of that off. It worked okay but not great. I also tried to use my tweezers to pull off some of the spider webs um, and my fingernails. I tried to get in there and pinch it off the best I can but um, you just got to do the best you can. On the spaces between the buttons if there's any gaps you can't lay a button flat but you can kind of tilt it sideways to try to cover up any of the gaps that you may have so I went back through and and tried to do some of that Okay, now for the fun part, you get to style it on your shelf with your other winter decor. And uh, with the pink on it, you could actually let it flow right into your Valentine's decor. So that'll work out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please uh, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks so much. Bye.